This is the actor Christopher Lee, Sir Christopher Lee, as Saruman in The Lord of the Rings with his orb Palantir. I frequently talk about how bloodliners and those in secret societies are used in movies to tell the polytheist history and religion that affect culture and society. It's basically a form of witchcraft. They do this in other art forms also, such as sculptors, painters, theater actors, musicians, literary people, poets, opera singers, all the ones I talk about on this channel. I think this is a very important pattern to be aware of, because these are the knights that have been sent forth to do the beast system work. They are affecting education, culture, business, and society as a whole, especially spiritually, and especially through Hollywood which is their sacred grove, just like the one at Lake Nimi in the Golden Bough. Many of these same actors and writers, like Christopher Lee here, Sir Christopher Lee, are used for similar movie categories. For example, vampire movies, and this is an important one. See my playlist titled, Bloodliners Depicted as Vampires in Movies. Another category is sci-fi and alien movies. Fantasy movies like Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. Superhero like Marvel. And these are all modern versions of similar theater that were promoted among the nobility historically. Many of the actors are educated at the Royal Academy, such as the Royal Academy for Actors. Some could be victims of MKUltra type programming or victims of secret society ritual, ritual indoctrination or a combination of any of those methods. But many of them are just born into families that have this religion and who use these same methods. Remember this Southern Death Cult or Cult album cover that says Born Into This. I'm sure that's what they're referring to there. If these people are from the UK or the Commonwealth nations, they're given a title like Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, which is what Christopher Lee's title is or some other similar title or multiple titles. Christopher Lee actually has multiple titles, and I'll go over those. But this is an award for doing the polytheist work. Many times they're going to have a Sir title preceding their name, like Sir Christopher Frank Carandini Lee. And that's the example we're going to go over in this video. And sometimes, even if the people are not part of the Commonwealth, they will give an honorary title to them as well, like Bill Gates. But Sir Christopher Lee can supposedly trace his ancestry to the Holy Roman Emperor Charlemagne. Christopher Lee is commander of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire. He's also Order of the Hospital of St. John of Jerusalem, or the Knights Hospitalier. And I won't go over what those are because I've covered that before, but they're big deals in the world of the beast system. Christopher Lee was made a Knight Bachelor, and the French government made him commander of the Order of Arts and Letters. So what movies has he been in? Saruman in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Count Dracula in seven Hammer Horror films. Count Dooku in three Star Wars films. James Bond film The Man with the Golden Gun. Five Tim Burton films including Sleepy Hollow, Corpse Bride, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Alice in Wonderland, and Dark Shadows. The Curse of Frankenstein, the 1958 Dracula movie, a Tale of Two Cities, and The Wicker Man. That's just a few of his movies, but they follow the same pattern. Hopefully you can see that pattern. And it's not just because he's really good at these types of roles or famous for those types of roles. It's because he's been trained for these roles because of his bloodline and other factors, which I will go over now. Before his acting career, Sir Christopher Lee served in the Royal Air Force as an intelligence officer in World War II. And remember that I said intelligence was involved in the film industry. And that's not just in the U.S. It started in Europe, especially in the U.K. Those are not coincidences. They're definite patterns, which I cover a lot on this channel. Because I want people to see this. I was listening to a Christian podcast with someone who covers the deeper topics, like vampirism. And this person was a fan of Christopher Lee. And we should all be aware of how this works and not be enamored with these people, especially if we're trying to wake people up. J.R.R. Tolkien, author of The Lord of the Rings, was commander of the Order of the British Empire and Fellowship of the Royal Society, as another example. But Christopher Lee was born in London, son of Lieutenant Colonel Geoffrey Lee of the 60th King's Royal Rifle Corps. 
and his mother was Countess Marie. His father fought in the Boer War and the First World War, and his mother, Countess Marie, was an Edwardian who remarried when she divorced Lee's father, and she remarried Harcourt George St. Croix Rose, a banker who was also uncle of Ian Fleming, the author of the James Bond novels. And James Bond's character was based on John D. Occultus and spy for Queen Elizabeth I, the Fairy Queen. Lee's maternal great-grandfather, Jerome Carandini, was the Marquis of Sarzano. Lee's great-grandmother was English-born opera singer Marie Carandini. It says that Lee was introduced to the assassin of Grigory Rasputin. And then Christopher Lee later played Rasputin in the Hammer Horror movie Rasputin the Mad Monk. And Rasputin was a Russian mystic and faith healer with a lot of influence over the aristocracy in Russia because spiritualism and theosophy are popular among the aristocracy. I covered Rasputin in the video The Last American Vampire because one of the characters in that book was based on Rasputin, who was famous for his influence with Tsar Nicholas II because he was thought to be able to heal Alexei, Nicholas II's son and heir apparent to the Russian throne, who suffered from hemophilia, which is a blood disorder common to the aristocracy, which is kind of a vampire disease. Alexei was a great-grandson of Queen Victoria, also. She's the grandmother of Europe, who so many of her descendants also suffered from hemophilia. The Romanovs, which is the family of Tsar Nicholas II, including Alexei, were murdered by the Bolsheviks during the revolution and their bodies were burned. But there are several theories that Alexei escaped death. And as of 2015, his remains have not been buried because the Russian Orthodox Church are not convinced that they have the right identity of the remains. And they've ordered more DNA testing. So these are like real-life vampire stories, y'all. Uh, Christopher Lee also lived in France with exiled Russian princely families and witnessed Eugene Weidman's execution by guillotine, which was the last public execution performed in France. Lee was named 2005 Most Marketable Star in the World after three of the films he appeared in grossed $640 million. In 2010, he was identified as the IMDb's best connected person in the business. In 2008, Lee and his role as Count Dracula featured him on a commemorative UK postage stamp issued by the Royal Mail. He's written books, he's on audio books. And he also sang and recorded opera and other musical pieces. And he appeared on heavy metal albums. This is one of them. So let's look at them. Charlemagne by the Sword and the Cross. It tells the story of Charlemagne, the first Holy Roman Emperor, to whom Lee can trace his ancestry. Here's the track listing. King of the Franks. The Iron Crown of Lombardy. Sounds like the Iron Throne. The Bloody Verdict of Verdun. The Age of Oneness out of Diversity. Starlight. The next album we'll take a look at here is Charlemagne, The Omens of Death. And the music of this one was arranged by Richie Faulkner of Judas Priest. Here's the track listing. The Portent, Charles the Great. The Siege, Massacre of the Saxons, Dawning of a New Age. Let Legend Mark Me as the King, The Betrayal, The Devil's Advocate, The Ultimate Sacrifice, and Judgment Day. So now let's talk about Charlemagne. Charlemagne was King of the Franks, an emperor of the Carolingian Empire, uniting Western and Central Europe. He's known as the Father of Europe. He was crowned Roman Emperor by Pope Leo III. The concept of knighthood originated with Charlemagne, with twelve paladins, which is mirrored in the Twelve Knights of the Round Table. And Paladin sounds a little like Palantir, the orb. Charlemagne's father, Pepin the Short, and Charlemagne himself re-established masonry in France. As Gnostics, they were educated in the sacred sciences and taught the mysteries to France. So, educated in the sacred sciences, and so is this guy. 
That's what I'm trying to show. All right, this is a depiction of Charlemagne's third wife, who was an elven fairy princess, Estrada. You see her picture here between two columns. The marriage between the elven fairy princess Estrada and Charlemagne was to solidify a Frankish alliance and to marry Charlemagne back into the Merovingian bloodline. The marriage facilitated the unification of the Celts of Ireland with the Merovingians, the dynasty of the Grail of Arthur, and the Rex Deuce Norse bloodlines of Rollo. Gary Wayne writes, Above all European royal houses of conspiracy are the Merovingians. The Merovingians are also linked to British Grail dynasties. Secret societies such as the Knights Templar, the Freemasons, and other Gnostic sects work to keep the Merovingian claim to priestly and royal heritage designed to support their alleged rightful claims to rule. Charlemagne, who, remember, brought masonry back to France, requested to be buried here in Aachen, in Germany, at this Gothic cathedral, which is a Freemasonic, you know, structure, Gothic cathedral. And inside this cathedral, where Charlemagne is buried, you'll find this lectern. It's a Roman eagle with a vampire bat on the back. So these are real-life vampire stories because you have Christopher Lee, Sir Christopher Lee, Knight of the Crown, and the Order of St. John of Jerusalem, playing Dracula, who in real life, Christopher Lee traces his ancestry to Charlemagne, who was married to an elven fairy princess. And Charlemagne was a Merovingian. And Merovingians were sorcerer kings. And Christopher Lee also plays a sorcerer and a mystic charged with caring for Alexei, a Russian vampire, whose body can be found. And the Gothic cathedral that Charlemagne is buried in has a vampire bat on the back of the Holy Roman Eagle. Thanks for listening.